Today we are doing a public service at Boot Wizard. I am going to show you how we're going to stop all of your foot pain problems when you're buying boots. So today I am going to show you how to correctly size your feet so that you can buy the correct size boots. Most people don't have a store that they can go to and try on top end boots. You have to order online these days, especially to get the range that you want. So you don't want to have to order them, send them back, especially if that's going to cost you money. So I'm going to show you how to get the correct size. The first thing I want to do though is basically throw out the window an old wives tale, an old dad's tale more than anything else, which is that you should have half a thumb to a thumb's width of space on the end of your football boots. So, you know, you go into the shop, you sit down, your dad goes, oh, stand up, son. Yeah, let's let's put a thumb on the end. Oh, you've, you've got a thumb there, that's a good size. That's my uh, Yorkshire impression, which is where I'm from. <laughs> and um, if that was, then you would buy the boots because that would be fine. Or alternatively, oh, bit, bit of growing room in there, that's good. No, that's terrible. No growing room in any boots. A football boot should fit you as tight and as close as it possibly can without being uncomfortable. If you get those boots on and they are uncomfortable, they are not the correct boots for you. You need to change size. Or alternatively, with some boots, you just need to buy a different boot. If you have wider feet and you put on a pair of vapors and you love the vapors, but you put them on and they're too tight, but they're perfect in length, and they feel uncomfortable because of the width, they're not the boots for you. You have to go and buy a different pair of boots. There's so many different types and styles of boots out there. Pick the one that fits your boot, that fits your foot the best, and don't pick the one that you like the look of and force your foot into it. Comfort is king. So firstly, you need to know what size your foot is. To do this, you're gonna need a piece of paper and a pen. Nice and simple. Put your foot onto the piece of paper and just draw around it. So you're just gonna draw around your foot. Stage one complete, that is my foot. So once you have your lovely foot shape, you wanna mark the bottom point and the very top point. So the furthest points away from each other on your foot. And then from that, you want to join them together with a ruler, with a straight line. And then similarly, if you want to do width, you can just mark the two widest points of your foot as well, and we can measure that. Then you're going to want to tape measure, ruler, anything of the sort, just so you can measure the lines. So we're going to start with the length. You can then go onto a website like the unisportstore.com website and check out a size guide. Use a specific size guide for each individual boot, not a general size guide for Nike as a whole. That is not going to help you out. So, for example, what I've actually done is I went out and got my feet professionally measured. So I have one foot that is 260 millimeters long and one foot that is 258 millimeters long. It's actually almost identical to what I got when I measured them myself. They were only out by one millimeter. So that's pretty good. But when we take that size and then we compare it to the Unisport size guide for the Phantom Venom Elite, which is the boot I always use for a size comparison for myself. The Phantom Venom Elite on the Unisport website comes in at 262 millimeters long. So as you can see, that only gives me two millimeters of extra length on the end of this boot. But for me, that is perfect. That's certainly not a whole thumb or even half a thumb, but this boot fits me better than any boot on the market. And part of that is because the length requirement is so perfect to my feet. That said, I know plenty of people who have gone up half a size in the Phantom Venom Elite to get 
that extra little bit of room because it is too tight for them lengthwise in their regular size. You can also see width-wise that my feet measure 96 and 97 millimeters wide respectively, which is a fairly average size. But this, that, this picture that I've got up on screen also proves exactly my point about using size charts. This here says that I am, should be an EU 40.8, so closest to an EU 41, which in general is a UK 7. I cannot get my foot in a pair of UK 7 football boots on any model across any brand. It doesn't happen. So I have to take those millimeter measurements, compare them to a size chart, and then I get the right size. So to reiterate, my earlier point still stands. Get a pair of boots that will fit you as closely and as tightly as possible without being uncomfortable. If you can get yourself a pair of boots that fit you perfectly lengthwise, but they are too tight across the midfoot, do not go up half a size or a whole size in the boot to accommodate the width. It affects the performance, it affects the responsiveness. You don't want that. Unfortunately, it just means that those boots are not for you and you need to try something different. I have a list of my current top three best boots for people with wide feet just up on screen now and I will have another one coming shortly for narrow feet. So if you think that's for you, make sure you are subscribed. So I do hope that's helped you out and everybody can now go out and get the correct size football boots for maximum performance with no issues. Do put down in the comments any size related or boot sizing questions you have. I will respond to everybody. Do remember to like this video. It helps me out a huge amount. I really appreciate it. And if you're not already, remember to subscribe, click over here for that and click over here to grab any of my videos on the Nike Phantom Venom or other sizing videos. That's all from Boot Wizard here today. I hope you have found it super useful. Have a good one and we'll see you soon.